peace what up everybody what's up welcome to zen in the void oh my gosh this lighting is awkward let me turn on this other light let me turn on this other light child give me a second y'all i should have did this before i started my apologies but i didn't think i didn't think this would be this way i didn't think it would be this way all right, I didn't think I was gonna need that much light. Uh, it's still kind of awkward, but you know what? It's okay, I kind of like what it's doing right now. What's up? Welcome to Zen in the Void, y'all. Welcome back if you are a supporter. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Keep on liking, keep on hitting, smashing the like button and subscribe and make sure you're getting those notifications for all the new videos. If you are new, welcome, what's up? Welcome to Zen in the Void. You know, stay a while. Nobody's asking you to leave. You know, you ain't gotta do that. You know, stay a while. But anyways, I'm so happy and honored to be reading for you guys today. My sun rays and my moon beams. Um, today we're doing a career reading. It's a day late. You guys are supposed to get it on Sundays. But Sunday, honey, I took that as a full day of rest. And I hope you guys are feeling well rested, feeling amazing, feeling beautiful, because that's exactly how I'm feeling, honey. So yeah, with no more further ado, let's get into this career read for the sign of Aquarius. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Y'all know I always got a song, honey. I got to. Always a song in my heart. All right, let's get into it, Aquarius. What the hell do y'all have going on in y'all life as far as y'all career goes? I feel like it's some good, honey, because y'all just so motivated as people. I feel like both my signs that I read for are very driven, motivated people. And that's probably why, you know, God Source Spirit has me reading for you all, you know. It, when the cleaner was here today, she, I'm sure she had the door open, like the front door and it's a fly in here. Like, y'all know in my past videos, those of you who have been supporting me for a minute now, this shirt is so hot, y'all, and it's getting on my nerves. So we just gonna ignore this shirt if I'm squirming around. But anyways, if y'all be, like, if y'all are supporters for a minute, y'all know that in my older videos, I'd be complaining about, like, gnats and stuff because I would leave the door, the back door open all the time when I'm saging. And so gnats would fly in, but there is no gnats, honey, no gnats in here. I feel like there's, there is a couple spiders in here that have been like catching the gnats in their webs. I let the spiders be, honey. The, the spiders take, you know, they take care of the pests, but there are no more gnats, thank God. But there is a fly in here. So y'all see me? Y'all already know what's going on. All right, so I shuffled the cards pretty good, pretty thoroughly, and we're just gonna get a nice shuffle going here to see what comes out. The sign of Aquarius. All right, we got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see what else comes out. Let's get two more. Wow, okay, y'all talking today. Y'all talking today for sure. All right, I'm so excited. I don't know what's going on with you guys, but I'm in a very good mood and being in your energy hasn't changed that yet. So that gives me the impression, Aquarius, that you guys are also excited about something. So good for you. You know, whatever you're working on or whatever you have going on in your life, as far as your career, your passions, um, your livelihood, you're excited about it. So, you know, good for you. I, I've seen uh, just kind of watching some of the Aquarius uh that i know i've seen i'm seeing them do lots of amazing things when it comes to like passions and their career and i'm like so excited for them i'm excited for them like it's my shit you know but that's what happens when you're loving and supportive okay so like i said we got the five of pentacles in the reverse so there's a recovery there's that recovery period you guys are recovering and i feel like aquarius with you guys uh very similar to virgo i think that's why i read for these two signs like when you do your work when you kind of invest yourself and throw yourself into your work your passions and things of that nature you tend to that is like your recovery it pulls you out of a dark space it pulls you out of a dark time it gets your mind off of it because i feel like these two signs especially you aquarius because 
Virgos, they just, they have a problem with just overthinking in general because they're so analytical. Uh, and you're just very logical, which is something in common. But your logical mind and your air sign, you think a lot. So you guys, you two signs have that in common. So it's almost like when we're going through a hard time or something that's difficult for these two signs, um, you f kind of focusing on your work, your passions, your career pulls you out of that dark space, helping you to recover. You know, that's what's going on with you right now, Aquarius. You're recovering from something that you went through. You're improving your life. Um, you're feeling very charitable. People are being charitable to you. Just the overall good, good energy. You know what I'm saying? Then we got the judgment card here in the reverse. So there is... For some reason, this lack of self-awareness, doubt, and self-loathing that's happening. But that you got that in your last reading, uh, your last general reading. Uh, so take it as it resonates. But you all could still be kind of, uh, I just saw 555, five, five, so big changes, which is beautiful. Because that could be spirit letting you know that that's about to change soon. Like you having these very insecure moments. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, Aquarius, okay? Stay with me. You with me? All right? So though you're recovering right though you're improving and working hard and and allowing that to pull you out of your dark space you're still you just went through that re rebirth right so you could be still take it as resonates you know for those who just went through that rebirth period a lot of aquarius did so that's why i'm you know going there but you're going through that rocky period where one minute you feel super confident super powerful super ready uh, for life and improving and all of that and then the next minute you feel very insecure powerless doubtful you know all of those things so it looks like you, you were still kind of going through that space this is more past energy the overall reading of the overall uh, energy of the reading is that of recovery though and improvement so overall you're improving and you are recovering uh but this is more past energy so that brought you to the space that you're in now and you know in the past you were kind of still dealing with that the teetering energy of feeling good then feeling bad but who knows in your present energy and future you could be very well you know coming out of that space because if you're working hard on your passion and your career you know you're feeling good you're feeling happy you're like you know that's gonna that's what it does when you work hard it kind of gives you that confidence and that sense of meaning that sense of purpose and that's the beautiful thing about purpose that's why god uh source spirit gifts us and, and and bestows upon us gifts and purpose because whenever we're lost in this life whenever we tap into that purpose once again it's like it pulls us right out of that dark space and reminds us why we're living while we're here and i feel like that's what you're going through aquarius and i love that that's beautiful that's gorgeous so next in the past energy you have the nine of wands in the upright so you're being very resilient you're going through this whole thing with grit uh this is the last time you want to allow yourself to feel in such a low place uh regarding whatever you know situation you just came out of in life aquarius so it's like you're, you're just resilient you're like you know what i i'm I'm, uh, I'm improving i'm recovering I don't want to go through that BS again, the shit that I just got, got done doing. I want to get through what I'm going through in life and I'm, I'm going to let my, the things that I care about, my passion, my creativity pull me through that because you're a naturally creative person, Aquarius, and that brings you out of your, um, your kind of like heavier, darker moods. All right, let's see what we got going in the present for Aquarius, present energy. I can say it's great to be your present energy for the sign of the place. Wow. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, Aquarius. Okay. So, honey, you got the magician card. So, you're doing your thing. You're the magician. You're manifesting shit. You are, you are just like, you're, you're just molding life and you're molding the situation tipping it in your favor and molding it to the way to to your desire you're being that co-creator you have the magician card here you're in that magician energy that's what's allowing you to recover and improve because you're like i want happiness i'm going to manifest happiness you know if you ever meet somebody or be around people who try to make you think that it's bad to be a magician or be an alchemist or to manifest or manipulate things in, in a in a good way 
don't don't listen to them i read something on instagram and i just thought i'd share this because it kind of pissed me off because people it didn't piss me off but it, it was irritating to read because people they they get so caught up on making cute stuff for the internet that they don't and it's not bad it's just that people need to remember balance it was like why manifest or like manipulate things when you could just like when you are really supposed to just like go with the flow or something like that that's very true you are supposed to go with the flow in life but the thing about being a spiritual being connected to your higher self connected to god right connected to the source the creator of all things it's gaining the responsibility the knowledge the power to be able to be a co-creator in your life you understand the elements you understand yourself you understand your connection to everyone around you the world around you you understand that everything is one right so that requires a certain level of balance right sometimes you go with the flow sometimes you are in a receptive feminine go with the flow energy and then other times you're in a masculine more um output kind of energy where you cast your intention out into the world otherwise you would just be this being that's just accepting whatever comes to them i just saw 11 11 but otherwise you just be this being who just accepts anything that comes their damn way like whatever life throws at them they're just like okay okay and they're just sitting around waiting on the next thing to come to them that's super lazy God doesn't want that for you. God wants you to say, what do you ask? Ask and you shall receive my child. That's what you're doing here with this magician energy. People need to understand that. If they got a problem with it, it's because they don't know how to do it yet. We fear what we don't understand. So if they fear magic, alchemy, manifestation, law of attraction, it's because they don't understand it fully. There's nothing wrong with that, but that's what's going on. You got the three of swords here. The three of swords in reverse so there's a recovery from heartbreak. There's a heartbreak that happened in your past and something that broke your heart. It could have been career-wise, uh, relationship-wise, family-wise, friend-wise. You know what it is, Aquarius. You know what it is. You know how it resonates for you. I just saw 12-12. Awesome. We're on point. But you're recovering from this. It's falling underneath the judgment card in reverse, which is the card about having this lack of self-awareness, this doubt, this self-hate. The reason you were feeling that way is because of this heartbreak. You going through this situation took some of your confidence. You're like, sometimes when things fail or, or don't go as we saw it going in life, it's easy for us to, uh, to think like, damn, like, you, you start kind of doubting yourself and your abilities. You, you start to, you have moments where you think you are the incompetent one. Like, you can't pull through on something you want but you have to realize if something doesn't happen usually it just means it wasn't for you so i feel like you're going to realize that at some point aquarius or maybe you have already because you i just saw 13 so it's that it's that rebirth you've realized no i'm not the failure in that situation it was just time for me to be reborn transform and move the hell on from that shit because here you are with the three of swords in reverse which lets us know that you are recovering from that heartbreak situation you're just recovering you're forgiving. You're moving the hell on. You know? It, it's it's important as hell that we um, feel our emotions, feel it, heal it, get through it. The only way out is through. You got to feel through it. I love that Victor Odo says this. Victor Odo, one of my favorite, like, uh, spiritual, uh, like, guide, guides, rather, um, he said this, uh, and I'm sure this he got this from like Native American people. I think he did say that, um, that the bull in a storm, it doesn't run like when the bull sense that there's a big storm coming, they don't run from the storm. They run towards it because bulls naturally know that the way, or was it buffalo? I think it's buffalo. It, yeah, I think it is buffalo. But they run through the storm. They run through it because they understand overstand and understand that the quickest way to get through the storm is literally to get through it it's the quickest way for it to be over if you run from it it's going to catch up with you at some point you're just going to be running but if you run through that storm yeah you're going to get rained on but you're going to get out of the storm even faster because you're running right on through it and that's what you're doing with this whole thing you you allowed the heartbreak you allowed the griefing the grief the suffering you got through it, and now you're on the other side of it. Oh, I just got a ringing in my left ear. It's still ringing. 
It's signed down. Okay. I didn't want to talk with it ringing like that. It was very uncomfortable. Ooh, wow. I just got downloads or something. But yeah, you forgave and you moved on in this situation. And that's why you're feeling better. You're like, look, I want to focus on my recovery, my passions, my purpose for being on this life. I can't, you know, keep being here in this heartbreak energy, this suffering, this grief. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I'm going to put all of these back and I'm going to take this one. Because I saw it. I saw it flip over. Okay, so this is beautiful. We got this ten of this ten of pentacles coming out, honey. You already know what that means. If you don't know what it means, I'm about to tell you. So this ten of pentacles is coming underneath this nine of wands, right? This nine of wands is about being resilient, right? Fighting through it. Going through the bullshit for the last time. Grinning and bearing the difficult stuff. This is going to earn you your Ten of Pentacles. Whatever it is that you're doing career-wise, passion-wise, it's about to bring your ass Pentacles. You are about to receive ultimate abundance for what it is that you are creating. What it is that you're doing in life. That is great news for you, Aquarius. I didn't think nothing less. And that's why you feel... That's like why I feel so, I was already so happy, but that's why I felt even still happy in your, in your energy. I knew that it was going to be a good reading because I already felt so good. And this is your present energy. So in the present, you're, you're the magician. You're manifesting. You're forgiving, moving on. This is propelling you forward. When you forgive, it's not always for the other person. Yes, it's nice to be forgiven, but it's, it's really for us. It's for you, Aquarius. You forgive so that you can move on. When you're stuck on something not forgiving, it holds you back creatively, emotionally, spiritually. When you hold on to it, when you hold it, but you've let it go. And that has sent your ass, set your ass up to receive all the pinnacles that you, your heart desires. You are about to get paid, honey. And this is the present energy. So whatever you're doing, you know it's successful. You have no doubts. You know that you are about to. And, I, and it's funny because I put this three of cups on the bottom when I put all those cards back. And that card is about abundance. I just saw 17, 17. We're on point. But that card is about abundance. Partnerships, luxury, connection, things like that. Whoa, okay. So let's see what the future energy has for us. Wow, you have the death card once more. So you're going to go through another death. This is beautiful, though. I, I, I just got so hot. Spirit just came straight into me, poured more into me through my crown chakra just now. But we have the death card here after you receive these pinnacles. After you receive your pinnacles, you're going to go through another death. But it's good. It's going to be so good because I think you're going to realize, like, Oh, okay. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. So here's the thing, Aquarius. This is what was going on for you, right? So in the past, in the recent past, before you went through the big rebirth that you went through, you kind of had doubts. You had doubts that like when I get on my spiritual path, when I, when I pour into myself and, and really tap back into that life, of being a spiritual being, of being connected to my higher self, being connected to God, to our spirit, being guided, surrendering to the path, surrendering. It's like you doubted it. You're like, if I go there, I don't know if I'm going to be successful. I don't know if I'm going to make money. I don't know if I'm going to maintain the lifestyle that I'm living. I don't know if I'm going to be as successful as I am now. You thought that it was going to cause you to be broke. But after you get all the pinnacles... From this project and from this new energy that you're in, you're going to go through another death, helping you to level up once more and realize it's like going to anchor you. It's going to anchor you. It's going to act as an anchor to really pull you and keep you in this on this path and in this mindset. And it's beautiful. I go through this on my own path and it's my favorite part of the path is when God is saying to you, do this for me just trust me i always describe it like god is trying to take your little bear and you're scared to give him the bear because you're like i love this bear but he has a real big better bear i said he god is not he or she it's it them it's an entity so excuse that it's, it's programming that i is like it, it tries to hold on but you got to get rid of that shit that's why i say spirit spirit is taking your bear trying to give you this bigger bear 
And that's what it's like. It's like you are afraid to lean into your spiritual path as you thought it was going to take you down some notches on the material side. But when God saw spirit, when spirit says no, I love when, when spirit does this. It's, it's like a reward. It's not even a reward. It's more like a, it's a reward, yes, but a confirmation to say, I told you so. I told you that when you come to this side, you're going to get exactly what you want. You're going to get exactly what you asked for because that's all I want to give you. I just want to give you. I've, I went through moments on my spiritual path where I questioned spirit and said like, Are, you know, eh, do you? I, I thought that I was supposed to live this small life because I'm a spiritual person because this is my path. But then I realized like, no, in order for me to do all of this work for the greater good selflessly in love, all spirit, all God's spirit wants to do is shower you in, in whatever it takes to get you to be comfortable doing your work. So if you require space, a big home, a garden, beautiful clothes to feel your best, God is going to say you deserve that. We all deserve paradise on this on this planet, especially when we're considering that we're connected. <gasps> the video stopped on me. It's all right, though. I forgot what I was saying, but it's OK. We're just going to move forward. But I'm pretty sure it was something along the lines of, you know, God just wants to give to you. Spirit just wants to give to you and for you to trust, trust the process. Trust the fact that you're going to get everything, everything that you want on this path. Don't think that the spiritual life means the poor life, <laughs> the simple life. Nah, nah, not at all. When I learned that, I was so happy. I was like, yay. That is, that. that's religion. That's like, that's some whole other shit that's that programming we want to get away from that programming that makes you think you know you're not supposed to want for anything you're supposed to be meek and humble and and live you know a quaint like nah nah fool is at the bottom of the deck you're on your fool's journey that's what's going on you're gonna go through that death that anchor that's gonna anchor you into like okay i'm good on this path because i'm seeing that i'm still gonna succeed here being my true self, being on my true path and my true journey. How beautiful is that? I love those moments. It's okay to have doubts. It's okay to question. You know, we go through those dark night of the soul periods, you know, our shadow periods, our shadow work, and we question ourselves. We question God. We question our, our path. Wow, what the fuck, Aquarius? Jesus Christ, Aquarius. Wow, you are getting, this is a beautiful spread. Like I am like, I'm, I'm lost. I'm at lost words for what these cards that just came out. You got the sun card here. That's just what I was saying. You're going to literally get all these pinnacles, all this money, all this material abundance, all the coin. And then you're going to go through a read deck that basically read like levels you up again. I just saw 202, 22, but you're going to receive, you're going to go through it. Like I said, every time you hit a rebirth, you level up again. Whoop, whoop. So you're going to level up again and you're going to be anchored into your, your path and anchored into your spirituality and you're going to be happy. This is the sun card, the happiest card in the deck. I just saw 222. Damn. 222, look that number up. Um, if you go on YouTube and uh, go to the YouTube of Bahati Life, I'm going to tag her. I just saw 234, so we're on the right track. Please look at her 222 video where she explains what the number 222 means. I love her, her teaching or her view or perspective on that number. It's so, so good. So I'm actually going to um, put the video in the description box. I'm going to put the link to the video in the description box for you, Aquarius. But you have the sun card. You're going to be extremely happy, extremely joyful. You're going to rejoice after all the, after all the self-doubt, after all the self-hate, after all that, lacking self-awareness, the recovering, the forgiveness, the moving on from the heartbreak, is you're going to finally reach that joy. God just wanted you to see that joy. God just wanted to give you this joy the whole time, Aquarius. I am channeling. I feel God inside of me. I feel spirit inside of me. All God wanted to give you was your pinnacles and your joy. Spirit just so desperately wanted you to come back to your path. I just saw 333. Creation. Come back to your craft. Come back to you. Come back to your, your, your spirituality. 
your full self, your higher self, your best self. That's all spirit wanted for you. And then look what's coming after that. These are the happiest cards in the damn deck. These are all the cards that people want to see in their damn spread. You got the nine of cups. Yeah, the nine, the nine of cups. You got the ten of fucking pentacles, material abundance, the nine of cups, emotional fulfillment, wish fulfillment, straight up happiness. You have it all. Happiness, joy. The sun is inner joy, radiating inner joy for yourself, for your life. Then you got emotional fulfillment, material, like you have everything. You have everything. You will not want for nothing. And God is, spirit is showering you with this because spirit wants you to understand if you stay here, you'll be good. Because this, this path that you're on is for you. It's for you and your future. It's not for anybody else. It's for you. It's for you. Because in, when we die, the only thing that we can take to that, that other side with us is the love and the people that we created, the legacies, all of the memories. And you're about to, you're like, oh my God, I'm not even gonna go off on a tangent, but you got the moon card here. Same thing I was telling Virgo yesterday. Well, not yesterday, but on the general readings from the other day, I was telling Virgo this. Once you level up and once you're on that path that is your highest path and you really level up to get to your heaven on earth, you're gonna go through these moon shadow periods. Not periods, but like you navigate, you have to navigate the shadow stuff. And God, Spirit just, just showed me, shared a vision with me that you've been in that space for a long time, Aquarius. You've been in the shadow realm for a long time. A lot of Aquarius out there, take it as it resonates for whoever that resonates for. It might not be a whole lot of you, but some of you have definitely, definitely, I just saw five for five big changes have definitely been in that shadow period for a long time. So you will be, the beautiful thing about being in a darker shadowy place in life or really integrating with and becoming familiar with your shadow self or your darker side is that you recognize shadows and darkness that's around you. You're not naive to it. So it's gonna be easy for you Aquarius or it's not gonna be extremely difficult for you to navigate the shadows, the delusions, the illusions, the lies, the deceit the mysteries of life you're going to be able to navigate through that because you have recovered you have improved you you're in your magician energy you went through, you're going to go through another rebirth very soon if you haven't again yet you're going to navigate that that's the that's this card was advice from spirit so spirit is advising you to know that that's still going to be there just because you're getting all this beauty you know we're still living on earth and earth is still in that kind of hellish we're getting through that hellish um period from from the uh piscean age we're entering the age of aquarius so the age of aquarius is like that heaven on earth that golden period where we're entering that so while you're on earth you're still going to encounter the lies the deceit the bullshit you, you just got to know how and understand how to navigate through it and you're going to do just that wow aquarius wow okay <laughs> okay Okay, so the full card definitely. Let me uh, test these. Okay. Okay, maybe that's coming out in the. Yeah, that's reverse for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, okay. So we got three more messages here before I end this video. It's going to be kind of long, probably 30 minutes. Ooh, I'm hot. Spirit is here. Thank you, Great Spirit. Thank you. Okay. So, another thing that Spirit wants you to know, right? Let me get this helper out for the art card. I need to get hip. I told myself that I was going to get these down. It's, it's coming along slowly. I, if you notice, I pick, up, pick this shit up way less and less. But that, that's for me to worry about, not you. Ain't your business. <laughs> but this card in the upright, this card is about, that's that temperance. Spirit is just still reminding you, Aquarius, to stay tempered, have temperance. You're going to go through the highs and the lows. And you're going to go through the shadowy stuff. But stay tempered. Stay in that middle path. Be patient. Find the means. Be neutral through the hard stuff. 
when we experience such beauty like the sun card the ten of pinnacles and the nine of cups we go through a period of extreme bliss it's like a, a lsd trip it's like a, a shrooms trip where you go through that complete bliss and then when the bad stuff comes it can easily discourage us throw us off or, or make us angry but you just have to stay neutral and say you know what that's just a part of life that's just a part of life it's okay be neutral spirit is just reminding you to be neutral you have the full card here in reverse so you're you're probably going to be tempted to be reckless there's an energy of recklessness being taken advantage of in consideration uh so it, it's almost like when you have when you get and it's falling under the pinnacles uh the ten of pinnacles and the nine of cups all of this beauty and gifts that you're going to be receiving for your hard work uh and from spirit um maybe it maybe it's you who's going to be tempted to be a reckless person you know take advantage of other people be inconsiderate towards other people because you have maybe you're you you know maybe spirit is trying to warn you against your ego inflating because this has nothing to do with ego this beauty that's happening in your life it has all to do with spirituality that's why it's happening one because of your hard work and your natural creativity and your success but also spirit saying you know stay on this path this path where you feel like your highest self where you're tapped in and you're balanced in your energies within you. Your feminine and your male energies inside of you are balanced. Stay there. So, so if this isn't you who's going to be tempted by this recklessness, this taking advantage of people uh, or situations and being inconsiderate, people are probably going to try to be that way to you because you have all of this abundance now. All of this, uh, this all, the, all the pinnacles, all the emotional happiness. There's people who are going to probably try and be reckless with you. Take advantage of you. And be inconsiderate to you. So watch out for that. Watch out for any of that. Just watch out for ego is what I just heard from the spirit. Thank you. Ego. Just a big ass ego just popped up in my head. Ego meaning you getting ego. Like your ego becoming inflated because of the success. You're going to forget all about spirituality. Don't do that. It's going to set you back. You're going to hit a tower moment. It's going to fuck everything up. But that's not in the cards for you. So it's not going to happen for you. So that's why I feel like it's going to be more of the other, which is like somebody trying to take advantage of all that you're gaining, all that you're getting. They're going to feel like they're entitled to it. And that's their ego. Lying to their ass. Because nobody, this isn't for anybody but you, Aquarius. So keep that in mind. You don't owe anybody shit. Let's just be for real. Last but not least, you have the Eight of Wands in reverse for another, uh, for a bonus, um, uh, like, advice, you know, possible outcome kind of card. I, I, what the hell? What the complete hell? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what's going on here. Oh my god, I don't even want to know how ugly I just looked. I don't know when I look back at this video. <laughs> so, with something in your life, Aquarius, something in your life, you're going to be tempted perhaps to panic and wait and slow down. Spirit is telling you, don't do that. You know what it is. I feel like Spirit just kind of told me. I just saw one, two, three, four, so we're on track, honey. Thank you, Spirit. You know what I'm talking about. Only you know, I don't know what this means, but you know what this means. There's going to be something going on in your life in regards to your happiness, in regards to you moving forward, right? And being neutral. You're going to panic and wait and slow down for, in, in some situation. Don't. Spirit is saying don't. Because if you, if, you, if you panic and slow down and wait, just know it's because of your lack of self-awareness. It's because of the self-doubt. It's because of the self-loathing like the residual energy of your of of the of your like lower aspects of yourself that you're working on and you're ascending and evolving from be confident and go toward it that's what i have for you aquarius i love this reading so much it was literally the best reading i've done in a long time not in a long time but in a, in a minute in a minute since i was like telling virgo that they were getting their stuff you know you're getting your stuff aquarius 
I'm so happy for you. If you guys need anything at all, you know how to reach me. You can reach me on Instagram at TomBabe underscore, that's T-O-M-B-A-B-E underscore, or you can email me at artbay47 at gmail.com, and that will be in the description box as well. If it takes a second, just give me a second, you know? Come back and check it's gonna be there or you can just look in old video description boxes to see it there but like i said artbay47 at gmail.com if you need personal reading if you need anything let your girl know and i got you maybe if i have time i love you so much aquarius that's all i got for you i'll see you in the next one peace